A septarian tutorial. During the Cretaceous period, when sea levels were considerably higher, minerals from the shells and carcasses of decomposing sea life and organic matter combined together with the seabed sediments and volcanic ash accumulated around a central mass to form balls of clay and mud. When the same ancient oceans and lake beds began to recede and dry up, these mud balls were exposed and left subject to desiccation. As all of the internal moisture evaporated from the clay and mud, the subsequent shrinking and then hardening caused abrupt internal angular cracking in the dehydrated mud and clay. These cracks are known as septaria or septum and take their name from the Greek word for a partition or division. After this stage, mineral-rich fluids carrying a further abundance of calcium carbonate deposits seep into the septaria chambers, forming both calcite, which is the beautiful yellow crystals within septarian, but also aragonite, which is the thin layer of brown druzy or crust that forms on the internal surfaces of the distinctive cavities from the mollusk shells that helped make up the bentonite or clay and mud. Septarian was not only formed by a series of events that began a very long time ago, but the concretion of the three different materials transpired over millennia worth of long and transformative geological processes. Septarian is a beautiful example of natural concretion. The word concretion is derived from the Latin con, meaning together, and crescere, meaning grow. The word refers to a compact mass of matter formed by the precipitation of mineral cement within spaces between the particles. Essentially, septarian is a unique mix of rock, mineral and organic matter that forms within layers of limestone sediment. Calcium carbonate can take the form of two different minerals. Calcite is the stable form, whereas aragonite is the metastable. Over time or when heated, it can ultimately transform into calcite. Another example of this is diamond versus graphite. While both have the same composition, pure carbon, diamond is a metastable form and over time will ultimately turn into graphite. Calcium carbonate usually crystallizes as calcite, but surprisingly, it forms aragonite in seawater. Whilst the two have identical chemical compositions, they look different and have different properties. For example, aragonite is more soluble and therefore more susceptible to ocean acidification. I spend time talking about the distinction between these two minerals largely because the beauty of septarian is contingent upon the fantastic geological fusion between these two components. Thank you for watching that video. Now, my name is Luke and I'm one of the writers here at Salt Shack. Now, what we do here is we teach people geology, mineralogy, gemology, archaeology, paleontology, and all manner of ologies as it pertains to very interesting things that come out of the ground. We'll teach you how something forms or how it gets its colour. We'll tell you how to identify it. We'll tell you diagnostic techniques. We'll tell you all about fakes and we'll tell you the history and maybe mythology and how indelibly etched many of the things that we sell are into ancient folklore and the stories of very interesting civilizations. Now, if you want to better understand these things in order to have a more well-rounded understanding of very cryptic subjects or to better insulate yourself from many of the duplicitous practices that go on within the crystal industry, then why not follow us and join the club?